Gwen was released yesterday. It's a 32 billion parameter model, which obviously sounds big, but is not actually big. Uh, not certainly not compared to the larger 600 and change parameter models that are out there now. Uh, in particular, I'm saying 600 and change billion parameters because QWQ32B is equivalent to the 671 billion parameter DeepSeq R1. And so if you're keeping track at home, DeepSeq had a nice two month run where it was considered sort of state of the art for open source models. And now you have a model that's approximately 20 times smaller that does a phenomenal job of matching DeepSeq uh, capabilities on specified tasks like coding, reasoning, et cetera. Now, there's a ton of advantages to smaller models. They're mostly intuitive, right? Lower cost, faster response time, more accessibility. It's just easier to run them, right? Uh, and you might wonder, how did Quen do this? Well, they released a paper and they say they did it by using really aggressive reinforcement learning, which makes a lot of sense. So if you're giving the agent rewards for policies all the time and giving it negative rewards where it doesn't give the response you want, you're going to be able to tune the model against specific tasks really cleanly in a small parameter space. The problem is that smaller models tend to be less stable. And so I've seen reports where Quen will sometimes lose train of thought or sometimes circle back on itself um, or sometimes sort of change its own point of view and argue against itself in the same sort of chat within a small context window. Those kinds of slippages are somewhat common for small models because small models don't have the larger context to draw from that gives them a stable place to respond when they are not specifically inside a particular reinforcement learning lane. Uh, and so if you want broad general knowledge, I would not expect that Quen 32B is going to be phenomenal at that. Uh, I think you will feel the difference. I like to think of it as a, um, a more brittle model. Think of it uh, visually as a glass arrow. It can be pointed at the center of the target, it can hit it, it can deliver extraordinary performance for things it's been trained for, but it's fragile. Um, and it may not do as well outside those specific use cases. So that's Quen. And if you're wondering, the, the big question here is, what happens to Meta? Because DeepSeek has already announced R2, they don't wanna wait. Uh, Meta has reportedly delayed Llama 4 and is starting war rooms about R1. Well, R1 is two months ago, and the models that are coming out that are open source continue to march along quickly. And so one of the things that is surprising a little bit to me is that uh, Zuck has invested so much in AI and continues to say he's investing in AI. He wants an AI engineer by the end of the year, but he hasn't shipped lately. And he's struggling to ship. He's struggling to keep pace with the other open source models, and he's in danger of losing the open source ecosystem he wanted to build. So we will see where that goes, but that's definitely one to watch.